welcome back everyone to the employee management system uh, series using Maral stack uh, in previous video we completed the salary management it means that we have added salary the admin added salary to the employee then we displayed the salary history for that employee like this okay this was the previous video that we completed the salary but in this video we need to uh, implement it means that we will move to the this was the admin dashboard that we has completed but the admin dashboard we have just one functionality uh, one module left which is leave okay leave, we didn't implement the leave because the leave uh, um, the leave module uh, has the connection with the employee if the employee doesn't add leave so admin cannot see the leave so that's why in this video we will complete the employee dashboard okay we will log in as employee and we will see the uh, dashboard for employee look at this is the dashboard for employee that we can see dashboard uh, profile we can see the profile of employee we can see the leave history of employee the salary of employee history and the setting to change the password and also to log out from the system this is the complete uh, dashboard for the employee and in admin uh, we completed all these three four modules just the new module has remained so in this video we will complete the employee uh, admin dashboard so let's start okay uh, this was the previous video uh, so let's first of all log in as uh, log in as employee so we will log out first of all the uh, system okay so to log out so let's move to now bar And now bar here we have log out button so let's uh, just extract distract log out R so from use auth hook or we can simply call the log out like this call log out function so the log out function was in auth context uh, class okay auth context let's check it so here we have the log out function and in the log out we have set user null and uh, remove token from the local storage so let's move here and let's press the log out so look at we directly log out from the system now let's log in as an employee so let's check which employees we have let's come here to the ems in the ems we have uh, employees so employees we have let's check the users we have admin we have arip yeah we will log in as arip amp12 dot com and the password was one two three four and five let's press log in so we log in as a reap and we have the employee dashboard like this okay the employee dashboard li looks like this now let's create the sidebar the now bar and also the uh, dashboard so how we can create we already completed and implemented the sidebar in the admin section and also the now bar and also this dashboard we already explained everything step by step how to complete this now i will copy the same sidebar just i will change the icons and these names for employee and also the same now bar the same dashboard okay everything is okay just we will now move to the uh, move now to the employee and we will implement it for the employee so let's come here and let's i will close first of all all these files just come here and we have the admin dashboard pages in pages we had the admin dashboard look at this is the admin dashboard i will copy the whole code uh, or i will just copy this div element copy this and come here to the employee dashboard in employee dashboard i will implement something like that okay the same thing but this is admin sidebar so we will create a component for uh, employee sidebar so let's move now to the uh, here we had the employee uh, art and this is dashboard so let's create um admin dashboard okay let's create a folder here employee dashboard this folder and in this folder i will create first of all sidebar for um employee.jsx fce 
save that and let's now import that here instead of admin sidebar i will import simply sidebar from employee dashboard so that's it now here no bar the no bar concept is same where i don't need to change that and outlet is also okay let's import outlet from react outer down to dynamically display the components import outlet from react outer down that's it let's move now to the browser there is an error in the admin dashboard sidebar is okay uh, let's import now bar well, i can see import now bar i think that was in that slash so where we have created yes slash yeah components and dashboard the no bar Uh, employee dashboard again we faced with an error so let's check it where is the error let's just come here yeah the error is at no bar a reading name okay at the no bar reading name so let's wrap our and just come here to the uh, after gsx i will just show you where is the error and let's move to admin dashboard employee dashboard and in the employee dashboard this is employee dashboard okay so i will just wrap employee dashboard element through private route To check first of all the user and then I will check from protected routes uh, role based routes So to the protected routes i will just uh, import here required role is in array to this array i will pass first of all admin can access this page and also imply that's it now let's check it now so look at we have that everything is okay so now let's design our sidebar so to design the sidebar let's come here to the uh, sidebar and i will open the uh, employee sidebar come here to the uh, this sidebar no come here to the admin sidebar control a control c copy the whole code control a control v just this is sidebar not admin sidebar Uh, we have links uh, i will just update this is employee ms that is okay now link admin dashboard instead of this we will move to employee dashboard that is okay and after that here we will display dashboard that is okay and down from that we will display my profile my profile and for my profile i should move to employee dashboard slash profile and down from that we will display leaves leaves okay and down from that salary employee dashboard Slash salary, the history of salary. This is also employee. 
dashboard uh i am sorry what i did yeah that is okay that is okay so we implemented leaves then salary and finally uh let's remove this second salary and the setting setting imply dashboard slash setting let's just copy this as and we will paste that for salary also and also for the city so that's it okay that's it now we have the sidebar okay my profile leaves salary and settings uh, is there anything yeah that is okay for salary that is salary my profile yes so this is for um, employee um, dash, employee dashboard these are the sidebars and now let's display first of all the welcome message to the employee so for the welcome message we will display the same thing like this okay as we have created for admin dashboard let's move to the admin dashboard summary card like this is a summary card let's copy this card and let's move now to the employee dashboard and in the employee dashboard create a file summary so instead of these icons i will import icon Per user import per user icon and just right here instead of that for user that's it and the color is bg till 600 and the text is will come back welcome back and here i will display the name user dot name and let's import user const user is equal to use auth look at welcome back yusuf that was the admin dashboard now when you press on my profile so we should display the information of this user so let's do it so whenever we click on this sidebar uh just come here dashboard has done profile okay so whenever we click on this profile so we will move at employee dashboard slash profile come here to the app.jsx and inside this route okay inside this uh employee dashboard i will implement other routes so i will implement the same route as we had for admin look let's check it okay like this one uh no no we should just come here uh summary and where we have used the summary the sidebar the employee dashboard and down from that how i displayed this where from where i i can see this okay employee dashboard uh this is employee dashboard yeah here sidebar no bar and outlet Yeah, here here i can't see okay this was the previous project sorry so here i should display that card so to display that card for that card i need to import the summary okay i need to import the summary as i have used for admin for inside this uh, uh employee dashboard inside that i will just make it index okay whenever we move to employee dashboard i will display this summary uh, component also summary from uh should import that
let's import it summary from slash components slash uh, employee dashboard slash summary let's check it now so look at that looks like this but i will add, just add the padding so let's add padding to the summary that is okay so it looks like now whenever we press this my profile so we will move to my profile let's go close this one and come here i will add the my profile so as i have added for oh yeah let's add it so here down i will add that route path slash employee dashboard slash profile and element is equal to with profile so here i will display the profile so let's create the profile component inside uh, the dashboard employee dashboard right click and create profile dot jsx or uh, i can call the view okay we had a view just a minute okay just a minute uh just come here to the uh admin dashboard to the employee um in employee we had this view component look at in this view component we were displaying the user information so we will do something like this okay this was the same i i will just show you okay i will just log in as uh okay like this it should looks like this in the uh, admin section we displayed the user information like this okay so to display the user information i would like to use the same component as we have used in the admin i will import that component to display the user information so i will call here uh, in my profile that com that component so to call that component for that component we need uh what we need to fetch the user information id just we need the id uh this is i think the user id or yeah this is the employee id okay this is the employee id so we should uh, fetch the uh, information for employee so to call this component we need to pass id from url so just come here to the op.jsx and here we will just pass id also okay so first of all let's move to the sidebar i will pass id from sidebar okay just come here const user is equal to use auth that's it and in the user we have just stored the id the user id so let's pass that to the profile okay my profile and here i will pass that id slash user dot slash id save that uh now let's move to up.jsx slash we will get an id and here i will call the view component so the name was view okay so let's yeah i will just import it from um, components employee don't be confused okay this is a series you should watch the pre uh, the previous videos view from dot slash uh, components slash employee slash view let's check it okay i will just check it now what happened so it means that we faced with an error has already been declared uh after j6 so view is already declared yeah, view has already been declared. Let's close it. So let's press my view, my profile. So it means that we didn't pitch the record, the data. So let's check where is the problem. Uh, let's move to view. And here we have the ID. Then we pass the ID. Uh, employee. 
let's check what is the response console.log yeah so yeah the problem is that whenever let's move back to the server side uh, to the uh, employee controller in employee controller when we are fetching the data based on id just come here to get employee okay here whenever we are getting uh, a record based on employee like here the id here we passed that was employee id but now we passed the user id okay there we pass the employee id but here we are passing the user id the user id so how we can get the information of employee okay so here in get employee um, api i will just uh, figure out that like um, here i will write if we didn't find here i will write if not employee if the employee was not existed so let's first of all declare let employee and here i will remove the const if not employee if the employee was not existed it means that we pass the user id and it didn't find the employee for us because we passed the uh, user id the employee was not so then what we need to do let's copy this code instead of this that query now we will run this query find one and here we will pass user id because we want to find based on user id I will just explain it once again to you okay come here back to this component so here in the employees before in the admin section i was pitching employee based on id so i was passing the employee id and i was searching based on that id okay employee dot find by id uh, based on this id and re return the array card but now i returned i passed user id okay i passed user id so first of all i check for employee id if the employee if i didn't find based on uh, employee id so it means that we passed user id so then i will check here for user id so here i will just write employee is equal to i will check for the user id because user id is inside employee collection employee table just come here look just come here to the employees in the employees we have this user id look at we will find now the employee detail based on this user id so after finding uh, that information so find the user id the user it means that a user information okay all user information whenever we find an employee for example we found this employee so just return based on this user id the user detail also this detail also so after returning the detail don't return the password and return other fields without password return all other fields and also uh, return the department we have department also department has connection with employee so we will return the department using populate to return the department information also let's check it so in the employees we have department also look at the department id also <coughs> so now it will work yeah i'm sure it will work so let's go back here refresh it and let's press my profile so look at we have displayed the user information like this so this was the component that we has created in admin sidebar in admin okay whenever we were implementing the employee management in i think that was fourth video uh that was fifth video okay that was fifth video in fifth video we implemented this so if you didn't watch watch that video how we retrieve the information like this and for now for the employee i just displayed and used that component so now let's move to the leaves okay so for leaves whenever we click on leaves i would like to okay the employee will request for a leave to admin okay i am logged in as a uh, employee so i will request i will send a request to the admin for a leave for casual leave or sick leave or annual leave so let's do it now come here to the sidebar my profile leaves so whenever i press this so i will move to leaves and what i need to do in leaves in leaves i will just just come here uh, with the previous project leaves so here i will see the leaves and i can add a leaf also okay i will see the record of leaves and also i can add a leaf like this so let's create something like this So let's come here to create a component for views. Uh, just come here to the dashboard department salary. I will create a folder by the name of view. And inside this view, I will create a file and I will name it list. .jsx. It means view list, uh, view list. So let's create that. 
so first of all i will just create this area okay manage leaves and input text field in a button so it looks like this okay just uh, manage uh, leaves and here we have a div element inside that input field in a link to move to the um, okay to whenever we place this link to add a new leaf so here we will move to employee dashboard add leaf so let's now come here to the list component in after gsx so whenever we click inside bar on leaves so we will move to the leaves Come here and we will add the leaves. Employee dashboard leaves. In the element, I will just import list. Uh, we, um, sorry, that is like leave list. Let's import it. let's click on uh, leaves just come here leaves so we are at the leaves but we can't see anything so it means that there is an error in list leave list so we didn't import the link let's import link from react author dom so look at this is manage leaves and add new leaf so let's first of all add a new leaf so to add a new leaf that should looks like this okay let's press this add leaf so it should looks like this okay request for a leaf first of all we will fetch the departments so after fetching the dep uh, sorry first of all we will just see which type of leaf you want sick uh, leaf casual leaf or annual leaf after that from date to date and the description so this is some same thing uh, we, first of all i will create this form so let's design this form just come here to the add i will create a new okay whenever i press that so i will uh, move to add leave uh, component so let's uh update gsx and there i will create uh add new leave duplicate it employee dashboard add new add leave so this route and in this route we will have um add a component okay so let's create add component inside leave so let's, see. So let's import that inside after gsx add leave from um add And here we will add add leaf. Come here and come here to our project. Press this. So look at we are at the add leaf uh, component. Now let's design it. So I will just add the form. Let's move to add leaf to add. So here I will design that. So I have designed a form like for example request for a leaf, then a leaf type, and we have here a drop down select an option. In option we have three uh options sick leave casual leave and annual leave so after that we have from date from which date startup date and to end date from to which date okay description and here you can declare your description reason why you can why you are taking the leave so let's check it now just come here and it looks like this okay this is our um uh, design so now whenever we click here check it and also the date the two end date and description so by adding salary so we will just uh, uh, pass the data to the seller uh, to the server side but first of all we will store these values inside a state variable so let's create a state variable and store the values inside that so let's create a state variable const leave set leave you state and this is an object with us so in this object we will store these values okay the casual leave and dates and also the reason so let's store them so for that we have handle change method so whenever we change the value we call that function like on change we will call that function on change we will call that function on change we will call that function and on change we will call whenever we change make some changes in these input fields so we will call this on change function so now inside this function 
let's first of all get the name and the value from those input fields const name and value is equal to e dot target so after reading the name and uh, value so then now we will change the value of these leaves object so how we can read that so let's call you set leave leave state spread operator preview state it means the previous previous data comma update name and assign to name value okay sometimes whenever we are writing something in this cache value so it will update cache value if we are writing in prompt date so it will update prompt date if we are writing in end date so it will write in end date update the end date one thing else that we should add that is the user id we will attach user id whenever we are passing this leaf to server side so how to attach the user id for that let's write user id and simply here we will write we will attach the user id like this okay const let's distract the user from use auth hook so after distracting that let's write here user dot slash id so the id is stored inside this user so we will attach that and here we will update the other fields and we will add dynamically other fields also then we will pass okay so whenever we press this uh, add cell uh, add new button so we will add this to the server side so for that on submit let's call on submit and handle submit function here we will call handle submit function just come here and let's create that function const handle submit so down from this we will pass the data how to pass data we have passed many times the data to the uh, server side like this okay we will do something like let's copy this code we don't need to write it again and again yeah inside this try cage block response so const response axis dot post we will post data where we should post the data api slash uh, we are adding a uh, leave okay so to add leave for that api slash leave slash add api leave add that is okay and we will pass token and f response dot data dot success so then what we need to do uh, after adding the leave so we will move back to the um uh set error instead of this we will move to the uh leave section back to the leave list so for that let's have the navigate just come here by successful registering the cell leave so we will move slash imply dashboard slash leave i think that is leaves or leave that is leaves leaves that is okay so now let's move to the server side to add the leave so for that let's go to the server app and first of all we will create a route for leave right click on route folder create a new file and name it leave that is inside this leave we will just let's copy this code because we don't need to write it again the same code at middleware and just instead of this we will create uh, a new uh, controller okay let's remove it so first of all we will add okay add a uh, new so to add a new for that we need to uh, have a function inside uh, a controller so let's create a controller also for new right click new file a new controller that is and inside this let's create function const uh, at leave is equal to a synchronous function request and response let's export it export at leave so let's import it now inside leave route uh, import at leave so that has been imported so let's now use that here that's it so let's now import this route leave route inside index.js
leave that is so let's use that now so api slash leave and this is leave router so let's move to the controller leave controller and here i will add the record to the uh, database so how we can add a record so as we added the salary so the same to that we will add the leave also okay we don't need to again and again write the same code I will simply copy the add salary code and paste that inside the add leave. And in the add leave, what we need first of all, we will take the user ID from uh, request add body, user ID that we passed. Then um, the second property was, now uh, I think which, which properties we passed. Just come here and leave type. start date and date and reason the last property was reason yeah the name is reason so after reading these properties uh, we don't have the model also so let's create model also first of all we will create model just come here to the models right click new file and i will name it live that is so we will create now model for live so this is our new model schema so let's explain it so employee id we will store the employee id which employee applied for this leave the leave type the leave type should contain these sick leave casual leave or annual leave in these three types it should be and start date end date and after that reason and the status the status is that the default uh, value of status is pending later we can change later the admin can approve or reject it okay it should contain these three value pending approved and rejected and apply that and updated art so this is the schema of uh leave okay the leave model so finally we imported exported that so let's close now the leave come here back to leave controller and add it okay so let's remove this and here instead of new salary i will use new leave so let's import leave import model dot js and new leave and here i will just write these properties Yeah, first of all we would like to store user id and leave type and start date end date and a reason that is okay so i will just change this to employee id because in um, leave we have used employee id employee id i will assign user id to that leave type start date end date and reason and the status will take pending value by default and let's store now that uh, new new json status okay so that is okay this was the method to add new controller let's check it now just come here for example sick new from today to today for example 20 and reason Art, flu, and fever. Press add salary. So we faced with an error. Why it is not working? Let's check it. Uh, handle submit is not defined. So let's check it. Just come here to the add. Uh, come here to the forum. Handle submit. On submit. Handle submit. Async e dot prevent default. Add leave. Where is the reference error? Handle submit is not defined. At add. add. 
it means server side error no server side error so let's check the uh, database we don't have so let's refresh it yeah the leaves has been added uh, but we don't have the leave record uh, let's check that add leave leave controller add leave request start response request start body let's cancel the error console.log Uh, new new dot yeah the reference of this employee id is employee id but we assign the user id here is an error so for that first of all we will find id const employee is equal to new uh sorry a uh, bit find iu uh, employee Employee that find one and we will just assign user ID the user ID okay the user ID a find a, an employee based on user ID after finding the employee so here now we will assign employee dot slash ID okay here it should has the reference with employee so we will attach the employee ID to this assign the employee to this one so that is okay so now it will work let's go back here and let's press sick leave that is okay everything let's press add uh, let's now check the error uh imply that find one error dot message employee dot slash id await new new dot save await imply dot find yeah the problem is that we should import this axis we don't have axis so let's import it let's try it now let's press this uh change this to hard flow and press add new so look at we faced with an error server error so it says server side error so let's check now the server side error come here now to the controller uh, uh let's remove this console.log where is the error server side error sometimes we just stack in adding like just employee adding so i did it many times but i don't know why i am facing with error so let's press again add leave server error so leave add so that is the handle leave add server side error so cannot it yeah i think you just come here back to the after j6 we added the token or not let's check that authorization bearer local storage dot get item token there were error inside at middleware So here is the server error that we faced with.
auth request dot header dot authorization dot split so this path is wrong so i think let's just correct it double slash middle bear slash auth middle bear that's h that is also okay auth middle bear So it means there is error with a middleware so we cannot read okay the error is just here i will just fix that yes this is coding always be stuck in that so that's the reason that we should pass this data okay we should pass this leave because this is a post request so in post request we must pass data save that and let's try it now close this one and sick leave and let's press now add so leave add server error okay now i will fix that error uh, leave validation failed employee id path employee id is required so employee id is required okay that i will fix that employee id this is employee id not okay just triple e press that so look at we have added the leave successfully let's check now that inside uh compared to the leaves refresh that so look at we have added this sick leave so now we will display these leaves okay so let's display these leaves so to display these leaves as we have displayed in the previous video in other videos the records so i will display the leaves the same okay in the previous video we have displayed the salary like this okay so i will uh, display now uh, use the same code to display the information for uh employee for the leave also so let's do it come here to the list okay leave list in the list uh, down from that i will just display okay okay so in the previous video for uh, salary management let's move to salary uh, we viewed just uh, i think yeah here we in the view we have used the table this table so i will copy this table code copy this table and paste that here and i will just change the header for suppose serial number and in this list uh, what we need to display let's come here to the previous project and to the leaves here we want to display uh, first of all the serial number leave type from to and description apply to and status so let's do it uh, serial number leave type from to uh, description and apply date and days how many days uh, status sorry this is status So let's display this information so to display this information we will first of all fetch the data from uh, leaves then we will display that data so to fetch the data we will fetch the data same to as we did here for salary okay let's fetch the salaries copy this code and also the use effect this is all familiar code okay i have explained it many times in this series so fetch salaries first of all i will change this to a uh, fetch leaves and let's now change this function name and here we have access dot git move to api slash leave slash uh, id okay based on id we will pitch okay we will pass the user id so let's pass user id so here i will pass user dot slash id leave git git based on id 
so let's check the leaves we don't have yes that is okay header we will pass that and just come here let's remove this response so let's create two state variable const uh, first of all the um we will just display the leaves set leaves is equal to your state i will just remove this set leaves response to data dot leave leaves okay and later i will use this um leaves to display the data leaves leaves that map changes to live okay live dot id and serial number that is okay live dot uh, live type live type uh, the second property is from and to start date I will just wrap this inside new date dot to local date string then leave dot uh, end end date wrap it through new date Finally, we will display the description to so description and apply date. Uh, sorry, reason. This is reason. And down from that, we will display the uh, pay date. Okay, new date. This is pay date. Uh, sorry, uh, the after that, apply date. Okay, um, applied. Data thing. I think uh, we had uh, applied date. Yes, yeah, so we don't need just to add this one. Instead of that, I will display the reason. The status so let's now display the information so look uh, just come here we paste with error I will show you this is very um, important to know about this error yeah it means that uh, the error is that use effect is not defined so first of all I will just import the use effect we will paste one another error so import axis <coughs> so now let's move to create api so let's create api okay this api uh, leave and then by user id we will pitch the records come here and here we will create an api ID get leaves. Let's create now that function. Mm, get leaves asynchronous function. So to get leaves, first of all, let's use try catch plug. And here, first of all, let's get const id is equal to from request dot params from param parameter. We will get from URL the id. So after getting id, so this is user id. How we can get the uh, uh, um, 
leaves data based on this user id okay so for that we need to uh, write now the logic to get leaves based on this user id so let's first of all find const employee we will find first of all employee is equal to a wait uh, employee dot find one we will find based on user id okay in employee table we have user id column so i will pass id to that First of all, read the employee. So after finding the employee, now we need to find the uh, leaves data. Const leaves is equal to await leave dot find. And here we will specify the employee ID. Is equal to with employee dot slash ID. Now let's return the response. Dot JSON. And leaves. So let's check the list. We have returned leaves. Yes, that is okay. We have returned its exported git leaves. Let's now take it, try it, okay? So it says code 404. So let's check where is the error. So the error problem is git leaves from that controller. Yeah, we have exported that. And let's check it back in the leaves. Get leaves, yes. Leaves. Uh, again, we paste within error. So let's. It said import git leaves from a uh, controller that is module. New controller does not provide an export named git leaves yeah i have exported that const git leaves control c control v we have exported that everything is okay leave controller let's refresh it that is running okay so let's refresh it now but what's wrong what is wrong there yes there is no error right now yeah this is not post but this is git yes so let's try it now now we faced with an error so here we will solve now that error a serial number is not defined so let's define the serial number inside list let's first of all declare const uh, sorry let serial number is equal to one so we have displayed that error look at uh, we have displayed the um, leaves seek you to and from why we can't get the from leave type and this is the problem is that leave type from to description first of all leave type that is okay and this is a leave dot start date leave dot start date that is okay and this is end date this property is extra one i think two four five two four five that is okay save that yes that is okay description status pending and leave type and from two so let's add another leave Let's add a leave. 
So we have added the second loop also. So after completing this, uh, one thing is that I should add. Uh, so after managing the leaves, what else we need to do? We have completed the profile, the dashboard, the leaves, and we have added, we have displayed. And what else remains? I will just explain it to you. So come here to the salary. Yeah, now we should display the salary. So to display the salary for that, uh, displaying the salary, we just implemented that logic in the uh, previous video when we were um, just managing the salaries. So um, regarding that video, so I will just implement here in the employee dashboard also. So let's move and let's close the view. And come here. So let's first of all move to the sidebar. Uh, sidebar that is an employee dashboard. Yes. In the dashboard salary. Whenever we click on this salary, so we will move employee dashboard slash salary. Just come here and we will add that salary. So in the salary, we will display the salary data. So let's move to the uh, salary. Uh, we have implemented the salary in the previous video in this view. In this view, we can view, okay, display the salary history, the salary record. So just come here. Uh, what we need to change in the Fitch API, we have passed. Uh, we have passed ID to that, which is the employee ID, but we will pass the user ID. So let's pass the user ID to this route. Okay. So here I will attach the user ID. So we have already fetched the user, distracted the user from auth use and come here to the salary. And here I will attach that slash, uh, yes, slash user dot slash ID. So let's go back to app.jsx and here we will get the ID. Go to web.jsx. So here we will get the ID and then we will move to API salary. Okay, so we will move to API salary. So first of all, let's call the view here. Here we will call the view salary view. That's it. And whenever we move to this API salary slash ID, let's move to that salary controller. salary route in salary route we will come here and we will move to get salary function and in get salary function uh, in the admin dashboard we passed the employee id but now we passed the user id okay there we passed the employee table id because we were clicking on the employee and we were displaying the salaries per employee but here we are passing the user table id okay the user collection uh, id so what we need to do so here uh, if we didn't find it means that we find so just come here and here i will write if not salary if we didn't find the salary so then we will check for the user id so we will do something like this uh, await salary uh yes uh salary uh, here yeah first of all we will find the employee okay const employee is equal to await employee table uh, let's import employee employee dot uh, employee dot uh, find one based on the user ID, we will pass ID to that. And after that, we will find the salary. Salary is equal to with a weight keyword, salary dot find um, employee ID. And to employee ID, I will pass employee dot slash id and dot populate the employee id and
just read the employee id let salary return salary so i hope it will work okay let's check it now let's move to salary so we displayed the user information but instead of user we should display the um uh salary okay just come here to the salary the salary the name is view yes view just come here to the after j6 i have displayed the view So this is employee view. So I should move to a salary. Yeah, that is view salary. Let's copy this view salary. Control V, Control S. So look at right now, we don't have any record for this employee. Okay, if we add a record for this employee, then we will see that. So let's log out and log in as admin. Log out and let's log in as my admin email dot com log in and let's come here to the salary and add that uh our rep was in which department let's check that uh, let's check where in which department we have the re zero four yeah that is in amp 112 so amp 112 that is okay in it department select this one basic salary 508 allowance is like 50 reduction 30 and paid it today add salary so after adding let's now log out now let's log in as arib at gmail.com password one two three four five log in so let's check now salary so we can't see again the salary uh, for employee id zero four let's check the salaries yeah we have added two times the salaries for zero four employee id zero four zero six employee id Uh, 06 that is employee AMP 112 but let's see why we can't receive the uh, records and let's move to the view salary and in view salary ID that is okay salaries is f12 so react router dom routes match application employee dashboard slash salary uh, just come here to update g6 employee dashboard slash salary uh, View salary. Yeah, we have pitch, but the records are zero. It means salary zero. There is no record for a reap. Let's log in as another employee. So we have a rip and we have AMP11. So I will just uh, insert employees. Yeah, the problem has been solved. Here we should just specify this line. If 
here whenever we are uh, reading finding the salary so it was returning returning an empty array so returning an empty array it means that it will not run this block of code okay an empty array but if there was it means if the salary was null or the salary that length was less than one it means if there was no record if there was zero record return so then it will run this uh, this line of code but i think it is also not okay so let's write like this okay salary it is working but i will check it once like this no record so that the yeah, the previous uh, method is working okay even if the record were less than zero so then it will come here and it will check this line of code so let's find it now so let's so look at we have the salary salaries okay deduction allowances and 50 the total and the pay date uh amp 12s okay 12 times he uh, he received the salary so it was all about how to display the uh, salary now we would like to display um, the setting okay just come here to the setting and then we want to change the password for this user in setting so let's go To the sidebar and on side click whenever employee dashboard slash setting that is okay and let's add that here employee dashboard slash setting so let's create the setting component dashboard leave salary employee department and let's create that inside employee dashboard yeah we have imported the setting now inside the setting i will create a forum just to change the password so i will just create a forum okay so i have the uh, setting okay here this is the same same to the login functionality that we implemented in second video as the login functionality this is the same to that we have input field for old password we have input field for new password we have input field for confirm password after writing this we want to store the value of this inside state variable so for state vari variables i created this your um, setting okay setting uh, in the setting we have user id i have stored the user id also because i will pass the user id to the server side also then i have old password new password and confirm password here we have handle change so we will just update the values after that when you press the submit function so we will check if the confirm password and new password were not equal so we will return error password are not matched else if they were okay so then we will move and pass the password okay the password to the uh, setting change password and then we will update the password for a user else we will display the error so let's check first of all the setting component how it looks like so it says utils api uh, just come here and here we have something let's remove this and we will use access Thing else which is yes use path so press the setting so we come directly to the setting if we press change so just required a password like something uh, i have entered and here a different password and here a different password so it will display password not match okay this password not match so now whenever we press this change password so we will call an api on the server side so let's call the api and create that api just come here create a route setting.js uh let's remove this and here we have just 
uh, post method and here we will call change password change password let's create a controller also right click setting controller .js and here create a function uh, change password let's export it let's import it inside the setting route change password that is okay so now let's import it inside index.js this route router so that is okay so now let's uh, change the password in setting router okay let's close this one setting controller in setting controller i will uh, just change the password for user so we have passed the user id also we need just update the user so one thing else that we need to change that is this is put method because we would like to update the user to change this to put and also in the setting i will change this to put uh, just come here access dot put i uh, just come here to setting controller and here we will check now try catch block and response that status if there was an error 500 dot json success false and error setting error so just come here down first of all we will get the user uh, const user id comma um, old password new password is equal to request dot body so we have passed these properties from the uh, setting okay let's check them so user id old password and new password so after that first of all we will check the user const user is equal to uh, await user dot find by id id f not user so then return an error so just copy this error paste that here this is 404 false and setting error a user not found that's it now after if the user was available then we will check the password is the password okay or not so const uh, old password with the new password uh, yeah the old password is the yeah now we will check the old password okay so the old password the old password should be available there inside the uh, database const as image is equal to await a uh, user uh, sorry bcrypt we will use bcrypt library dot compare so let's first of all import the bcrypt 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 dot compare so we will compare the old password comma user dot password okay with user password if not is match again return an error which says password wrong old password now if the password was also okay so then we will hash the password const hash password is equal to await bcrypt dot hash uh, a new password 
uh, comma, and then here we will pass the sort, which is team character. After hashing the password, let's update the user. const new user is equal to await uh, user. Find user user dot find by ID and update. So the ID is equal to with user ID, comma just password hash password. Finally, return uh, response dot status two hundred eight dot json uh, success true the success true save that let's try it now so just come here and here i would like to insert the old password which was one two three four five and new password one two three four five six one two three four five six press change password so did i change the password or not So there is an error in the server side the error is that setting controller yeah that is okay i found the error this is user.js so let's press the change password again we faced with an error so put setting uh, localhost change password not found So let's come here to the setting and here we are handle submit access dot put setting ah, sorry this is http slash local host comma colon 5000 slash api slash setting save that and let's try it now change password so look at we successfully changed the password logout rip at gmail dot com one two three four five look at password wrong if i write six log in so uh, sorry that is the error of sometimes we faced with this error that need to be refreshed let's press now log in button so look at we successfully log into the system so we change the password also salary leaves and my profiles and the dashboard so this was all about the employee admin dashboard that we have completed and we successfully completed the employee admin dashboard in next video we will move back to the login and in the login we will uh, just complete the leaves and also the dashboard uh, we will retrieve the uh, properties from uh, a server side to display that on dashboard let's come here i will display you what we are going to do in next video So first of all we will retrieve these values dynamically and also we will implement the leaves property these leaves the leaves is not working right now okay whenever we come here to the employee and press on leaves, so we should see the leaves of uh, user so it was all about the employee uh, dashboard that we completed in the completed in this video if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching